Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear students, have a nice day. Hope you will be fine and best of your health. This is Dr. Sajid Mahmood Rao, Division of Science and Technology, University of Education Lahore. Today we are talking about steroidogenesis, in which we will discuss short question answers, which is relevant to the course of natural product, that is CAM 4119. Let's see short question number four. Describe gonads and its key role in hormone synthesis. Also describe the function of hormones derived from cholesterol. Discuss some important nutraceutical products derived from carotenoids and pharmaceutical applications of steroids. Let's see what is gonads. A gonad uh, is a sex gland. A reproductive gland is a mixed gland that produces the gametes that is sex cells and the sex hormones of an organism. In the female of the species, uh, the reproductive cells are the egg cells and in the male, the reproductive cells are the sperm. The male gonad, the testicles, produces sperm in the form of spermatozoa. The female gonad, the ovary, produces egg cells. Both of these gametes are haploid cells. Let's see how different kinds of hormones are synthesized within the gonads. The cholesterol is a precursor which is used for the convergence of uh, pregnenolone by the effect of 450 enzyme SCC. In the second step, the pregnenolone is further changed into 7-hydroxypregnenolone by the effect of enzyme 450 carbon 17, that is 17 hydroxylase, which have been discussed in the previous slide. The 7-hydroxypregnenolone is further converts into DHEA that is dihydroepiandrosterone by the fact of enzyme 1720 lyase. The DHEA is changed into androsterone by the fact of enzyme 1720 lyase. Let's see how pregnenolone and 17 hydroxypregnenolone is changed into progesterone and 17 hydroxyprogesterone respectively. The pregnenolone is changed into progesterone by the fact of enzyme 3 beta HST and the 17 hydroxypregnenolone is changed into 17 hydroxyprogesterone by the fact of enzyme 17 20 lyase. Let's see how androsterone is changed into testosterone and estrone. The androsterone is changed into testosterone by the fact of enzyme 17 beta HSD and changed into estrone by the fact of enzyme 450 aromatase. The testosterone and estrone is further changed into DHT that is dihydrotestosterone by the fact of enzyme 5 direct and estrone is changed into estradiol by the fact of enzyme P450 aromatase. So this is the general procedures for the biosynthesis of different kinds of in hormones and the effect of different kinds of enzymes upon it. Let's see the functions of some steroidal hormones. Steroid hormones play an important role in carbohydrate regulations which is carried out by the hormone glucocorticoids. It is also used in the mineral balance in which mineralocorticoid is used for the said purpose. The hormones which is used for the reproductive functions is the gonadal steroids. Steroids also play an important role in the inflammatory responses. It is also used for the state responses and bone metabolism. The hormones can also be used for the cardiovascular fitness, behavior, cognitions, and mood swings. Here in this slide, we will discuss the functions of some important hormones which have been derived from cholesterol. First, the androgens, it is strongest, that is testosterone, produced in the testes primarily but weak androgens in adrenal cortex, that is anabolic steroid. 
it is used for the development of male secondary sex characteristics and prevents bone desorption. The second hormone is estrogen which is produced in the ovaries primarily but also in the adipose cells of male and females. It is used for the development of female secondary sex characteristics and also used to prevent bone desorption. The third hormone is vitamin D, not a steroid hormone, produced in the skin in response to UV light and processed to active form in kidney. It is used in the intestinal calcium absorption, promotes bone formation and prevents phosphate loss by the kidneys. Let's see what are the carotenoids. Carotenoids are the organic phytoconstituents that are isolated from less to medium polar fraction of the plants and these are yellow, orange and red pigments which belongs to the category of tetraterpenoids. The tetraterpenoids consist of isoprenoid unit and that unit is C5H8O. You can see over here some important examples and that examples are lycopene, canthazanthine, estazanthine and beta-carotene. The first molecule that is lycopene, lycopene is a bright red carotenoid, hydrocarbons found in tomatoes and other red fruit and vegetables such as red carrots and watermelons, grapefruits and papayas, but it is not present in strawberries and cherries. Although lycopene is chemically a carotene, however, it has no vitamin A activity. When we see its uses, the lycopene is used as a food supplement, however, it is used in high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. The second molecule is canthazanthine. Canthazanthine was first extracted from an edible mushroom in 1950s. It has since been identified in sea trout, algae, daphnia, salmon, brine shrimp and several species of flamingo. In addition to these natural sources, canthazanthines can be synthetically produced from acetone. When we see its uses, people use it as medicine. Canthazanthine is used to reduce sensitivity to sunlight that is called photosensitivity experienced by people who have a great genetic disease called erythropoietic protoporphyria. In these people, sunlight can cause skin reactions such as itches and rashes. The next molecule is astaxanthin. It is found in salmon, lobster, crab and crayfish as well as in krill oil and algae. When we see its uses, astaxanthin is taken by mouth for treating Alzheimer's diseases, Parkinson diseases, stroke, high cholesterol, liver diseases, age-related muscular degenerations, age-related vision loss and preventing cancer. The next molecule is beta-carotene. Beta-carotene is a red-orange pigment found in plants and fruits, especially carrots and colorful vegetables. When we see its uses, the human body converts beta-carotene into vitamin A. That is called retinol. Beta-carotene is a precursor of vitamin A. We need vitamin A for healthy skin and mucous membranes, our immune system and good eye health and vision. Vitamin A can be sourced from the food we eat. Carotenoids are soluble in organic solvents and insoluble in water. Now we see the identification test of the carotenoids. Here we perform two tests. In the first test, the sample is taken in chloroform and then added concentrated sulfuric acid along the side walls of the test tube. So we get the blue color. It means carotenoids are confirmed. In the second test, the sample is taken in chloroform and added antimony trichloride, which gives the blue color, which indicates the presence of carotenoids. Common sources of carotenoids are pumpkin, carrots, spinach, corn, tomatoes, bacteria and fungi. Some phytoconstituents have biological activities that are antioxidant, anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory. The phytoconstituents that are present are alpha-carotenes, beta-carotenes and lycopene lutein. Carotenoids play an important role in biosynthesis, imports color to plants and rich source of vitamin A used in various herbal products. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which carotenoids are used as food supplement. So, the first brand is I Factor Formula that is manufactured by Natural Factors and we take its dose 262 mg per day. 
it is formatted in capsule dosage form serving per contain night capsule the activity of this brand is protective regions as an anti-inflammatory the second brand is beta care all it is manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 25 mg per day it is formulated in soft gel capsule the activity of this brand is support immune system and cardiovascular systems for healthy skin bone teeth and vision the last brand is as textant in plus it is also manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 5 mg per day it is formulated in soft gel capsules and its activity is antioxidant let's see some important steroidal compounds and its pharmaceutical applications in the first molecule the total number of carbon atoms are 17 and the name of this molecule is gonane this molecule has been isolated from solanaceae and melanthaceae family of the plants and it is used as a contraceptive vaginal rings also it is used in progestational activity this molecule is soluble in organic solvent such as ethanol, acetonitrile and methanol which should be purged within an inert gas. The second molecule consists of total number of carbon atoms are 18 and the name of this molecule is aspirin. In this molecule you can see that there is an additional methyl group at carbon 13 and so we can say that this is the derivative of the conane molecules. The strain molecule is obtained from estrogen steroid hormones and wire transformations of the pseudomonas arginosa and also from corn oil extraction. The solubility of this molecule is in chloroform, DMSO and methanol. It is used in active metabolites for the treatment of amenorrhea, abnormal uterine bleeding as well as for the prevention, as well as for the prevention of the pregnancy. In third molecule, the total number of carbon atoms are 19 and the name of this molecule is androstane. In this molecule, there is a presence of two methyl groups at carbon 10 and carbon 13 position. Androstane was obtained from coolis plant and ephedra and it is used for the treatment of asthma and from as an anti-inflammatory activity. This molecule is soluble in acetone isopropanol and benzene. In fourth molecule, the total number of carbon atoms are 21. The name of this molecule is brignin. This molecule is found in the urea as a metabolic product in the form of 5-beta brignin compounds. We can extract brignin glycosides from Labradinia pyrectotechnica plants. This molecule is soluble in DMSO and ethanol. This molecule is used for genes regulation transcriptions as well as drug metabolizing enzymes in the liver and intestine. The fifth molecule consists of total number of carbon atoms 24 and the name of this molecule is choline. This molecule was isolated from the bile secretions of American Bulldog and it is soluble in ethanol, DMSO and dimethylforamide. This molecule is used in its acidic form as an antimicrobial and antifungal activity in various diseases. In six molecule, the total number of carbon atoms are 27 and the name of this molecule is cholestine. Cholesterol was isolated from petroleum deposits and also in rhodophyte. This molecule is soluble in isopropyl alcohol, ethanol, methanol, acetone and chloroform. This molecule is used for the treatment of advanced and metastatistic cancer and also used in apoptosis and necrosis. In this slide, we will discuss five more organic steroidal molecules, their uses and pharmaceutical applications as well as their isolation. You can see on seven number, the name of this molecule is Argostane. The total number of carbon atoms in this molecule are 28. This molecule is isolated from solanaceae and leguminosae family, especially from the Thura plants, and it is soluble in carbon tetrachloride and methanol. This molecule is used as a biomarkers of eukaryotes. The next molecule is stigmastane. 
total number of carbon atoms in these molecules are 29. Stigma stain is isolated from Alcornia filaribinda leaves and roots of Hypernigrum. This molecule is soluble in chloroform, DCM, DMSO, acetone, and ethyl acetate. This molecule is used as anti-inflammatory used in the biomarkers of early eukaryotes. The next molecule on 9 number is cardenolite. Total number of carbon atoms in cardenolite are 23. Cardenolite is isolated from apocynese and moraceae family as well as it is found in butterflies and sugar lactone derivatives. This molecule is soluble in diether ether and methanol. It is used as anti-leukemia agent and toxic instant heart arresting. It inhibits potassium and sodium ions concentrations in and out of the membrane. The next complicated molecule is pyrostain, which consists of total number of carbon atoms is 30. This molecule is isolated from white onion and red onion and soluble in ethanol, trichloromethane and chloroform. Spirostain is used as antifungal pathogens like Penicillium italicum, Aspergillus niger. The last molecule is buphenolite. Total number of carbon atoms in buphenolites are 24. Buphenolite is isolated from toad venom, medicinal plants of the Colanchae genus and it is soluble in methanol and chloroform. It is used in severe colic conditions, in vigorous and in depression. Now, we will discuss in the next slide the IOPAT name of the steroidal molecules. Let's see the isolation and purifications of steroids. This is the specific method for the extraction and isolation of steroid molecules. In this method, we will take hot word egg shock in which 1 gram of potassium carbonate is added. After that, 5 gram of sand and 10 ml of methanol is added. Whole material is grinded and we will get the soft scrambled egg material. In this material, we will add 20 ml of cyclohexane and stir it for some time. After that, we will take the corn meal mush material. The whole material is then formed for reflex and evaporation. After evaporations, we will get the evaporated egg mixtures in which we will add 30 ml of methylene chloride. Now, this material is subjected for column chromatography in which we will take 15 gram of flash silica gel and layer of sand on the top. So, the column is packed after that, the whole column is eluted with 30 ml of methylene chloride. Now, it is rinsed with ethanol with the help of petroleum ether. After that, again, the elution is carried out with the help of ethanol and petroleum ether with the specific ratio. So, in this way, from the column chromatography, we will get total 15 fractions and each fractions have 10 ml of volumes. Now, each fraction is subjected for thin layer chromatography for the identifications of the pure compound as well as for the presence of steroid molecules. So, the cholesterol will be spread into 6 to 16 fractions. Now, after the evaporation of cholesterol fractions, we will get the cholesterol crystals in the round bottom flask. Now, the steroid which is in the form of a cholesterol is recorded for weight and then taken its melting point. After that, the cholesterol is identified with the help of specific test for the confirmations of the steroid molecules. So, this is the specific method for the isolations and purifications and identifications of the steroids natural products.